In this video, I'll show you how to connect to your iPad Air 5th generation from 2022 a external hard drive, could be an SSD like this one, or it can be a normal hard drive with a spinning disk. So to do so, you can do it two ways really. The first one is you're gonna need a USB type C to USB type A OTG adapter. I have link in the description if you want to get one of these. Or you can go the other route, which is to get a full USB type C USB hub that has many ports here. And again, it should be OTG on the go. This is what OTG means. So for the sake of this video, I'll go the easiest way, which is a simple small adapter. All you have to do is to connect your hard drive here to the USB adapter and then connect it to your iPad. I'll put on the screen right now which format you should have your hard drive in so the iPad Air can read it because the iPad Air doesn't read obviously all the formats in the world and uh, yeah it's important to have the good format if you want this to work. Once you're done here all you have to do is to go in my files it's this uh, icon on your iPad Air tap on it and on the left side here you're gonna see my SSD or whatever, what's the name of your external hard drive. Tap on it and you'll be able to see the folders and files that are on it. Okay, so if I open this folder, I'll see there's a picture. I'll open the other one, other pictures. You can tap on them and view them. If you want to transfer something from your external drive to the internal memory of your iPad Air, it's very easy. If you want to transfer a folder, then you just need to keep it pressed on the folder that you want to transfer and then press the copy button. If you want to select many uh, folders and files, you're going to press the select button on the top right corner here and select all the folders and files you want to transfer at the same time. Once you're done, press on the more button on the lower right side here and select copy two items or for you maybe it will be copy six items depending how many you choose. Tap on it and then go uh, on the left side here where it says on my iPad. Here I already have a folder but maybe yours is blank. To create a folder on your iPad internal memory you just need to press on this um, small icon here. You're gonna name it the way you want. Done. If you want to paste everything inside, tap on it, it's blank. Tap anywhere on this blank screen and paste will appear. Tap on it, it will take maybe a few seconds, a few minutes, depending how big are the files you want to transfer. So this is it really, it's very easy. Once you're done, you just have to disconnect everything. Your files are on your iPad here, you can view them, work on them. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Please leave a like and uh, maybe even a comment. I'll see you in the next one.